Howdy folks, this has to stop. I have to stop. You have to make me stop. Let's go take a look at my latest fail. This is a 2002 Audi all road, a 6 all road. It has the 2.7 bi turbo engine and these things can be pretty fast. You can run them up to 5, 550, 100 horsepower. So, yeah, they can be pretty fast. I sniped this one off a uh, salvage auction, of a silent salvage auction that I currently su subscribe to. And, uh, well, let's take a look at it. It is wrapped and it is badly wrapped, as you can see. It has this green interior. It is an automatic. It is pretty well equipped. It has the full electric seats with the memory. As you can see, uh, we have park sensors front and back. It has a 208,000 kilometers, which is uh, really good. The steering wheel is really nice, uh, the shifter is nice. These knobs are usually destroyed. And uh, it has heated seats, even in the back. As you can see, it has the heated seats in the back. Got these nice shades. The windows are tinted. Uh, the car is pretty in pretty nice shape. Has a solar roof that runs your fan, so the inside's a little bit more cool. So let's pop the hood and uh, let's see what we have under there. There is the back, as you can see. This car is pretty nice. Nice tires on the OEM rims and uh, here you can see the damage, it's damaged on this right corner so let's pop the hood and uh, you can see that the damage is here, this is not bad, we could replace that but uh, when I picked this car up it ran like crap, it, di it was dying and sputtering, spiffing so I tried to diagnose it with my uh, little handheld 25 door scanner and um, the car had no issues. Then I I was going to start it one day and uh, yeah, well, it made a huge rattle and guess what? The timing chain, the guides on this side are destroyed, timing chain skipped and we have no compression on this uh, bank of cylinders. This cylinder, this bank is fine. I check the compression and um, this side is okay. This side has zero. So the valves on this side are no longer there. So um, that's another thousand bucks in the drain. I paid 750 bucks for it, which I thought was a big, a big, big score because uh, these things run for 4,000 4, to 5,000 depending on the condition and the condition of this one was very good so I don't know what to do with it now right now I think I do not have the means to pull the engine and fix the uh, the heads I don't have the money to afford it and you guys have to make me stop buying uh, these auction cars and focus on motorcycles I try to focus on motorcycles, but motorcycles are really expensive right now, really expensive. So I don't know what to do. Uh, the customer doesn't want to pay the price of the, of the parts, but they want the price of the crashed bikes to be high. And somebody's paying it, so I don't know. Well, let's close the hood on this and let's talk about the little Fiesta, because there the bad luck continues. So this is the little Fiesta that uh, we bought for 250 bucks uh, and uh, it was meant to salvage our investments in that little Fiesta that I made that video with. As you can see, we got new scratches. Uh, the customers for from Slovakia came 
and they nick this off and uh, they step out of their vehicle and said yeah well this is just scratched so yeah well they didn't compensate me for anything another issue with this car the other day somebody came and look at it and um, this car has no check engine light this car is pretty clean for what it is but uh, they brought their mechanic with them he scanned it and guess what there's a pending code for catalytic converter i drove this car for 100 miles home i put another 100 miles on it uh, since then the car didn't make the check engine light to pop but uh, the code is still pending i read on the forums that uh, some guys had these codes pending for like 5,000 miles, 7,000 miles. So uh, maybe the O2 sensors are going bad. Also the uh, front spring broke, so I had to replace the spring. One day I came to a car and it was sitting on the ground. The bearing on the strut looks fine, but when you put together uh, it's it's not functioning properly so the bearing has to be replaced but uh so no no luck with this one they saw the pe che pending check engine light and they walked away so uh well we have still this one so so this is going to wrap this short little video up please let me know down in the comment section what would you do with this audi uh, i thought uh, my first thoughts were that i will bring uh, a first build to the channel that we will build it to uh, some kind of crazy horsepower like 4, 400, 500 and uh, now I don't have uh, the the willingness to do it so please let me know down in the comment section what should I do with it the part out is not an option because I don't, I'm not licensed for that so uh, I just don't know what to do so if you want to support me please subscribe, like, share this video and I will see you in the next one bye